Food retailing is a $600 billion industry that is, of course, always changing. But we can really say now that it's in a period of revolution. Demographically, most importantly, we have A, the rise of the millennials with their own preferences for food shopping, and B, the growing importance of various international communities and, and minority communities. On the lifestyle front, we have an increasing concern with health and wellness at the same time that the relationship between mealtime and snacking is completely changing. We also have technologically everything from the way consumers are using apps to make their product choices to the ways that retailers are tracking consumer behavior to try to figure out not only what's new and how we shop, but also what's changing in our motivations. And those are the kind of things that our report looks at. In our consumer research for this study, we found a sort of paradox in that on the one hand, consumers are increasingly shopping for a shorter time frame. It can be just a few days, it could even just be that evening's meal. On the other hand, consumers are doing a lot of preparation for that shopping, in part over the internet, looking for sales, looking for coupon, but also looking for recipe ideas, menu ideas, but also for health and wellness issues that they should be addressing in their grocery shopping. The fact that consumers are spending so much, putting so much attention into what they're buying and why tells retailers that they too need to track these shifts in consumer motivations. A key trend in food retailing is store brands, private label products. One thing that we find in our own consumer research for this is that about two thirds of shoppers buy store brands in the course of a typical shopping trip. Also about 60% of shoppers agree that store brands are often as good as national name brands. But we look at this not simply in terms of store brand percentages and in terms of buying store brands to save money. We look at this in terms of the evolving role of the big name brands in the supermarket and how that's changing. What we do with Package Facts is try to have the right combination of historical trend data, which is asking the same questions over and over again to track changes with fresh data that tries to get out the new ways that consumers are thinking about what they're buying and why they're buying it. And food retailers need to track those changes, including changes in motivations and in mindsets, to really be able to remain competitive in a very rapidly evolving marketplace. For more than 50 years, Package Facts has published detailed market intelligence studies for the consumer goods and services industries, with a specific emphasis on the food and beverage, pet, and financial services sectors. Each Package Facts report is constructed from the ground up with primary and secondary research, including in depth interviews with executives and industry experts. Our analysts have extensive experience in the industries they cover, and their reports provide the essential market data with meaningful segmentations and forecasts, key competitive intelligence, and insights into the trends shaping the market's future.